Hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to ReCore. I'm Dennis. I'm Oscar. Yeah, we, we need to remember to say that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. let's activate this pylon. Yeah, you, we promised uh, activations of pylons. Yes. Hmm. What, what are you doing up there? Huh. I guess one of these cores isn't enough. We'll need more so greedy pylon. pylon. <laughs> All the pylons are greedy. Okay, so I guess we lied last episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I didn't hear anything about activating pylons. <laughs> okay, so there are... Okay. The game tells me to enter this door, even though I wanted to enter I the like bigger it. door. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, my ego cannot fit in this tiny space. <laughs> this thing oh look this door has some sort of color-coded lock on it <laughs> what is it going? isn't it kind of sad to be the last team in the life yeah I mean even if she saves this place it's gonna still be pretty lonely it's got like chests too, like this is so Zelda. <laughs> Dude, you need to upgrade your weapon. Ooh. Oh, now we got a red. Red shots. It upgraded, okay. Red firing. Mode. Okay, so if you match the color of the, the rifle with the color of the target, then you do more damage. This is totally Optimus Prime. I mean, uh, <laughs> I mean Metroid Prime. Whoa, she oh, she oh. Dude, you're catching fire. Getting so many achievements. Yeah. Whoa. This one's big. So far, do you think it has been difficult? The game? Yeah. Not really. Is there difficulty levels? Uh, I don't remember. I don't think so. Okay. It's pretty. We need to activate the pylons. Yeah, we need to activate the pylons. We need too. to activate the pylons. We need the mysterious cores. Prismatic cores. I just have to oh. unlock that core socket. No, it no, it says pr mysterious cores. This pressure plate must be linked to the socket. Okay. I you guess. But it's missing yeah. all of but its I, power I, cells. I know it's called the prismatic cores. <laughs> <laughs> That's a much better name. Whoa, it's a cell bot. Follow me. Okay. They gave the battery voice recognition. It's like it understands language. Yeah. Ouch. Do you have blue shots? No. Okay. Time to uh, keep going. Got over here. Whoa, something down here. Maybe? Nope, nothing down here. That dog is a badass dog. Yeah, that is pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, apparently there are two more companions in the game. Oh. So that's Mac, and then you will unlock later Seth Bring and Duncan. Lights. Seth and Duncan. Yeah. Seth is a cool guy, I guess. Seth is like, uh, it's like a spider-looking animal. Yeah. Thingy. He's probably the, the the good of them. And Duncan is like. Uh, 
Oh, passing oh. through the ring and it recharges the boost and the double jump. Cool. Mac is the dog. Yeah. That's cool. Cell bot. Dude, I love those batteries. <laughs> yeah. I like that they have like this uh, helicopter thing. Yeah. But it clearly isn't enough to stay afloat. <laughs> Here's another one. Uh, no. I think I can access this from over there. Okay. So instead of having keys in Zelda, you have uh, floating batteries? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think... <laughs> Is there one over there? I don't know. Oh, that's where you need them. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I got them all. Oh, cool. Now I need to extract the core. Prismatic core. Do I have to stand on this thing? Oh, yeah. One down, two oh, more those to are go. Pretty. All right. Whoa. whoa. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Can't mix that. That's the like cool Japanese flair to the game. Yeah. This kind of that kind of visual effect when you do the instant extract. Okay, next door. Ah. And that is the sound when you open doors. The game's pretty, pretty all right. Like it's, it's not mind blowing. Oh, chest. Take a look, buddy. Let's see what we got. Did you just get a jello weapon? No, I don't think so. No, I didn't. Okay. If there's anything so far that I feel like is missing, is uh, that it's like uh, it's a lot of fighting and just going around and just talking to your dog. Yeah. It would be nice if there were like different characters or like I don't know, just a little more uh, difference. Yeah. Apparently the game is supposed to be kind of stale. It's the same thing over and over. Yeah. Oh shit. I died? What? No fancy game over screen? <laughs> <laughs> Oh. 
Okay, I have to say, like, watching gameplay, watching this game, mm -hmm. uh, the lock-on mechanic looked way more boring than what it is in the actual game. It feels better. Yeah, uh, while I still, I'm uh, like, the, my least favorite part of Zelda, for instance, is the combat, uh, because of the lock-on uh, mm -hmm. mechanic. Um, so, like, but this game, it, it kind of fits in this game. The characters and, like, the enemies are very hectic and fast and stuff like that, but... Yeah, you would be screwing without it, I guess. I'm not supposed to be? Like, there's some... Yeah, I like Metroid Prime. Have you played any of the Metroid Prime oh. games? I I tried to play uh, one. Mm -hmm. Like I didn't really find it to be that fun to play. Um, like there must be another one of those cores nearby. Comparing it to Two D Metroid, mm -hmm. it's much a lot more action. Dead end. In Two uh, D Metroid. Yeah, can you find it? Um, Prime was so slow and... You just didn't know, like, where to go a lot of the time. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, and you just have to scan everything and that's not really that fun. No. Oh, we just not got all of a bunch of new blueprints for Mac. Nice. Upgrade your dog. Yeah, I, I think so too. Especially near the end of the game where they're like, yeah, before you go to the final area and defeat the boss. Around. Find these nine relics or whatever. <laughs> but Metroid Prime 3, I thought, was very good. Except for that every boss is the same thing. <laughs> it really is. Oh! That's number oh. two! <laughs> she's, she's, she's just in the lying sand. in the sand. <laughs> Treasure found! Prismatic core! <laughs> <laughs> All right, next time we're going to find the uh, last prismatic core. See you then. Bye.